Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 41. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to get admin authorities on a restored database. So this slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we have a backup image of a database from instance one, uh, the instance owner uh, uh, being DB2 INST1. So in Unix systems, you, this will be the default uh, uh, one created. Uh, and you want to restore the database from instance 1 to instance 2. So again, the instance 2 owner will be DB2 INST2, let's say. Okay, so the restore should be successful because uh, DB2 INST2 is a instance uh, owner. So he should be, he, he'll be having that sysadm access. So uh, the restore should be successful. But after restore, you'll find that there is no admin authorities that are granted to instance 2. So the owner DB2 INST2 will not have any administrative authorities on the restored database. So by admin authorities, I mean like security ADM authority, DB ADM authority, data access authority or access control authority. So these uh, list of uh, authorities will not be available for DB2 INST2, even though he has restored the database. Okay. So what is the solution for this? So the solution is you have to connect to the DB as DB2 INST1 user and you can uh, manually like uh, you can issue the grant statements like uh, uh, grant the specific authorities to user db2 inst2 and uh, so that is one solution but the limitation is like say if instance one is a like in a different ax machine instance two is a different ax machine so then obviously you have to create that user db2 inst1 in your instance two uh, server right so that's the limitation uh, so what is the solution to so the solution to is if you uh, if you can set this register variable so db2 set db2 underscore restore underscore grant underscore admin underscore authorities equal to on so once you set the register variable then you restart the instance because the setting should take in take into effect so restart the instance to then you issue the restore command for restoring the database uh, from instance 1 to instance 2 like the backup image is there so you can log in as instance 2 then uh, issue the restore command. So when you do that, obviously the authorities, like the admin authorities will be granted to DB2 INST2 as well. We will just look into uh, this one as a example, like a demonstration I'll just uh, give you. So here I have DB2 INST2 and I have started the instance also, okay. And I have one uh, uh, image here, like a backup uh, image. So you can see that, see, uh, rest db that's the database name dot zero db2 inst1 so this is a backup image of database name rest db which is under the instance db2 inst1 okay so this image is there with me but i am logged in as db2 inst2 you can see here and i have started the db2 inst2 and i want to restore this database from the backup image okay so the command for that is very simple so restore db from the uh, folder path and taken a timestamp on uh, home db2 inst2 so this is the uh, restore command okay so i'll run this okay so it's a straightforward restore command okay it is going to take some time so obviously i'm using some test system so it is having only one gb of ram so the restore process will be somewhat slower so uh so once the restore is done, I'll connect to the database using the uh, user db2 inst1 and I'll display the authorities held, okay. Uh, so what is the authorities held for db2 inst2 as a user? So what authorities he, he is holding on that particular database. So after restoration, I'll connect and I'll display that. So you'll, you'll see that uh, uh, the db2 inst2 user does not have any db ADM or security ADM accesses like that. So after that, what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to drop the database. I'm going to set this particular uh, registry variable. Okay. And I'm going to stop and I'm, I'm going to restart the instance for it to take effect. Then I'm going to again restore the database, then again connect and again, I'll just display the authority. So that's it. So this time you should be able to see that, uh, you know, like that particular uh, user is provided DB2 INST2 user is having those uh, uh, admin authorities so that's what i'm going to do so that's what this script is all about okay so it is going to take some time so it's, going to, it's taking a lot of time actually so how to check that so we can open another terminal window okay 
su hyphen db2 inst2 db2 inst2 okay. db2 list utilities show detail like that okay so i can so yeah see the restore is still in progress and it has restored only like 100 mb approximately will take some more time okay for restoring okay let's check okay still no progress And you can see that like db2 get dbm cfg grep hyphen i underscore mmo for my memory okay so i have uh, not used the automatic setting uh, like if i use automatic setting also uh, then the restore hogs the memory resources and uh, you know the, the whole system comes down so i am having like very limited amount of ram so that's why we are seeing that uh, we have to wait for such a long time okay i'm sorry about that but hopefully let's check whether it is so 132 so it should restore about 160 170 mb okay the, the important thing here is even though a user like db2 inst2 he is having sysadm access and he is able to restore the database still he is not provided data access or access control or dbadm or any of um, security adm like those kind of privileges or authorities are uh, still not available with the uh, sysadm okay so this is a very uh, important change when we look into restoration of databases okay so we have to take care of this scenario okay when we do the restore so 151 mb is done so hopefully in another some some time we should see the restore getting successful okay okay so you can see the restore is completed now here okay so once the restore is done okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect to the database as inst1 and i'm going to display the authority and i'm connect reset okay also i'm resetting the connection okay so I'm going to connect, I'm going to display the authority, okay, so the authority is getting displayed. See, you can see here for DB2 INST2, this guy is having CCDM access, so he was able to restore the database, but he's not getting any access control or he's not getting any DBADM access or data access or... Um, or sec adm like security administrator access so he he is not going to get that okay so that's the whole point okay so how to avoid this situation so i'll drop the uh, database then i'll set the registry variable then i'll stop the instance and i'll restart the instance okay let's do that uh, step by step okay so let me clear okay drop the database then set the registry variable to on then again stop the instance and restart the instance like start the instance okay. so once that is done i'll issue the same restore command again and then again i'll connect again i'll display the authority and connect reset so you should be now able to see that okay let me just do the restore around first okay okay so let us just do the restore alone so now the registry variable is set and i'm doing the restore so when i do that uh, DB2 INST2 user should be able to get security ADM, uh, access control, DB ADM, everything. Okay, so the DB2 INST1 will still hold, so it's up to you whether if you want to revoke those authorities. Uh, if you don't want the because it is the database has moved from INST1 to INST2, right? So you don't want to some some people don't want to use DB2 INST1. Uh, 
they don't want to provide the access right for INST one. So it's it's up to the uh, DBS. Okay. Again, this restore is going to take some time. Okay, so we have to wait for that. Hmm. Let's look at the uh, progress of the restore. So su hyphen db2 inst2 db2 inst2 db2 list utilities show detail. Okay. Mm, okay. So 67 MB. So it has to complete about. 160 MB like that. Okay. So under 100 MB is remaining. So I, I mean, you can do redirected restores and uh, this thing. So this has nothing to do with redirected restore or uh, uh, the type of restore operation like that. So it has to purely do with the uh, admin access okay so 100 MB another 60 MB to go Okay, another thirty MB to go. So you can look up various registry variables. So there are a lot of registry variables. There are certain uh, like even there are classification of registry variables. Like uh, certain registry variables will be uh, used for performance related, uh, 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 you know, tuning. And certain registry variables will be for uh, these kind of restores, uh, like security related registry variables. There are certain registry variables for. Uh, tuning the performance. There are certain registry variables for uh, uh, explain. It's like they they have impact on the explain plans generated like that. So various categories like some of your communication settings. There are certain registry variables for communication settings. So yeah, we our restore is complete. Okay. So once that restoration is complete, so I'm going to now connect to the database, and again I'm going to issue the same thing. Uh, to display the authorities okay so this time the user db2 inst2 uh, should have that uh, particular uh, admin access and everything so you can see here i'm using this uh, particular auth list authorities for auth id i'm passing db2 inst2 so this db2 inst2 now you can see that he is having access control he is having data access he is having db adm he is having security ADM and he is also a sys ADM like this was there already so only these access were not there okay so now you can see that for the user db2 nst2 when we set the registry variable uh, all the authorities have been granted so and if you want after the restore you can uh, switch off this uh, uh, registry variable also using this statement okay 
uh, but then again for the setting to take effect you have to restart okay so which i am doing it anyways okay so that's it in this video tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye